So you're looking to send a cold email to someone or a list of people. How exactly do you find their email address? That is what I want to cover in this video. Whether you're a marketing agency, a company looking for investors, or someone looking for a job, here is how to find absolutely anyone's email address. So for anyone doing this at scale, the first thing you're gonna do is collect a list. Now, you're usually gonna use a tool like D7 Lead Finder or using a tool like Built With that just gives you lists. And oftentimes what you find is that comes with a name, address, phone number, and in many cases, that email address. Now, this can, in many cases, just give you the email address directly. However, that is not always necessarily the correct person you want to email. For example, it may have a simple sales at email address or info at or some other sort of generic email address versus the owner or the head of marketing or the head of sales or the specific person that you personally would like to email. So that can cover it. If that doesn't cover it, then you move on to the next step. The second step is a really easy quick win. It's using a tool like Hunter or Find That Lead. These are both Chrome extensions that you literally just click a button when you're on the website and it pops up and tells you if they know any email addresses for this website. Now these tools use a variety of different means to collect email addresses, but all you need to know is that you click this little button in your browser and it tells you email addresses they find for this website, which makes it much, much easier. Now, what you're gonna have to do once you have those email addresses is just verify that it's the correct person you want to email. For example, if you're on my site, say linezio.com, and it said daryl at linezio.com, am I the correct person you want to email, or is it someone else you want you to send that email to? Again, just verifying that it is actually the correct person. If it isn't the correct person, or this website couldn't find any email addresses, or the ones it found, again, were just like support at, info at, and sales at, and generic ones, then you need to move on to kind of the next step. And the next step is you can also use these tools where you deliberately write in the name of the person you want to email. So again, for example, you can go over to Hunter, you can type in my name, Daryl Rossa, and you can type in lionzeal.com. And what they'll do is they'll use your name to try and guess different variations and guess what that email address is, right? So they'll guess Daryl at lionzeal.com, Daryl Rossa at lionzeal.com, Rossa Daryl at lionzeal.com, and different things like that. And they'll tell you which one works. Now, this isn't always 100% accurate, but it's a great easy way of, again, finding email addresses for a specific person. Now, before you can do that, of course, you need to figure out who exactly you want to email. And obviously, you may have the position in mind where it's the CEO or the head of marketing or anything like that. Like, if you're a marketing agency, just so you guys know, usually if you're working with smaller businesses, you're just going to email the owner of the business. I work with clients that have revenues of between a million to $10 million plus a year. And in most cases, I just work directly with the owner of the company. I'm not working with a marketing director or anything like that. However, if you're working with, say, $100 million companies, then there's probably not the owner that is making those decisions because they delegated it to say a head of marketing, marketing director or something like that. If after these three steps you still haven't found the correct email address, then at least at this point you have the name of the person you want to email. From there we can dive even deeper into additional steps. One additional step is to use a tool like LinkedIn or this tool called Snovio, however you pronounce that, and that basically allows you to check their LinkedIn profile and see if they have their email address listed on their LinkedIn profile. Again, it's another check once we know specifically we want to email this person, let's see if we can find that email address on LinkedIn. If again, after these four steps, you still can't find their email, then you can also go into a Google search. Now, Google search is basically the same as using Hunter, where we're gonna go ahead and search the name of the person along with the website. And we're gonna try and find if Google have crawled a document or page somewhere on the web that contains the email address. Now, usually again, if you use a tool like Hunter or find that lead or ideally both of them, then they're gonna find these email addresses for you. But it's just an extra quick check at the end just to see if we can find that email. Now, depending on who exactly you plan on emailing will influence the success rate that you have. We email, again, e-commerce stores make it anywhere from a million to $10 million a year, and we get around 30% of emails that are generic. What does that mean? It means 70% of the time we can find a owner or head of marketing to email 
30% of the time we can only find an info at sales at sort of generic support email address. And to be honest, that rate is really, really good. And it really depends on your industry. If you email on local businesses, in many cases, you're only gonna find a info at sort of generic email address. And the reason for that is, is because they're a small business and they literally just have one email address. The owner doesn't always have their own custom email address. So it really depends on the business that you're emailing. And then you also have to consider certain industries where if you email, say, dentists and doctors, when you send an email to them, they may have their email address explicitly shared on their website publicly for people to email. However, in most cases, you're not actually directly emailing them anyway, and it's going through to an assistant who's going to read it and then possibly, if you're lucky, pass it on to the dentist or the doctor, right? So in that case, it may seem that it's really, really high success rate, but it's not gonna be so successful when you actually send in the emails. All in all, it just depends on who exactly you're emailing. Now, the one part of this process is I gave you five steps to do that here, and here's what really needs to happen. You need to do this very, very quickly, because if you're going through trying to email 30 people a day or 100 people a day is even more, then it's a lot of verification to go through. And again, if you can't find the correct person to email, which is 30% for us, it can be more for you, it could be less, depends on your industry, then just email the generic one usually. I I think it's better than not emailing at all. Give it a try because even I found that I've landed clients by email someone support at or info at. Again, the response rates are terrible in comparison, but if I can land a client out of it, I'm gonna give it a try nevertheless. Now, once you have this entire list put together, then what you wanna do before you start emailing them is you wanna run them through a mail verification service. Now, if you use a tool like I recommend, like Woodpecker to send your emails, then Woodpecker have this built in. If you're not using Woodpecker and the tool you're using doesn't do this, then I recommend using a tool like Bright Verify that again, verifies those email addresses. What does that mean? Well, in short, it just checks with their email server if this is a valid email address or not. Now, in certain cases, it will tell you this is 100%, this is valid. In other cases, their server will simply not tell you that information, so you don't know, and it, it may or may not be correct. But it's better to check this because in certain cases, you also get ones that say, hey, this is wrong. This is the incorrect email address. And by knowing that upfront, you can save yourself some hassle and not email all these different email addresses that are wrong, that will bounce and it would lower your future deliverability of your emails. So just make sure you're using some sort of tool to verify the accuracy of these email addresses. And again, Woodpecker, which I personally use for sending emails, have this built in. Link is in the description. Now, if you're still watching this video at this point, you're probably thinking to yourself, this is way too much work and how could you possibly email 30, 50, 100 businesses a day by going through this every single time? Well, the truth is you probably can't unless you wanna work well a lot. So here's an actually way easier way of doing this. I know I'm not gonna pitch you some software at all because even then they kind of suck and you still have to check them and verify them using this process that I've given you here. What I would actually recommend is to go onto a platform like Upwork or any others, find someone you can pay them anywhere from about five to seven dollars an hour and have them do this for you. Now, better than that, hire someone that has done this before. Go and post a job hiring a prospector, right? And this is someone that has already done this before. And in this case, you don't really need to give them these instructions, you just give them the list. And you say, here's a list of 50 sites, 100 sites, 500 sites, however, go ahead and find the owner's email address or find the marketing director's email address, right? Find the relevant email address. It's easy, then they follow the process, then they go ahead and do that. We have a guy in the Philippines that we pay $5 an hour to do this for us, and he finds on average anywhere from 15 to 20 email addresses every single hour. That means on the upper end, we're paying about 34 cents per email address that we find. For us, that is extremely effective as a business investment because obviously we're selling our services for thousands of dollars every single month. So it makes sense if we convert enough of them to make that highly, highly profitable.
And that is essentially the process. Just to quickly recap it, step number one, check the tool you use for scraping or finding those lists. Again, D7 Lead Finder are built with a two that work very, very well and provide you a list of email addresses. However, in many cases, they are wrong. So in step two is to use a tool like Hunter or Find That Lead to try and dive deeper into each of those sites and try and find the owner's name and email address or whoever it is you want to specifically email. For step three, you can also type in the specific name of the person you want to email into Hunter and it's gonna try a different approach to finding that email address. For step four, you can check LinkedIn or use a tool like Snovio, which is going to do that for you essentially and make that way quicker and way easier. And then you also, if you can't get that to work, then you go over and use Google search and type in some manual stuff that we shared previously. Now, once you've done that entire process, again, make sure to verify your email addresses and that's about it. Start sending, ramp up those emails slowly. Don't go ahead and send 100 emails your first day. Warm up the email address a little bit by starting with just say five a day, just slowly build up to 10, 15, 20, and so on. And that's basically how you get started with cold emailing. And if you haven't already, make sure to go ahead and watch this video right here, which goes through my full cold email process. It shows how I landed six figures of sales and clients in a month and a half. It really expands on, okay, now you know how to find their email address. Here's how to put this into a strategy to get paying clients for marketing their agencies. Aside from that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, please again, tap the like button for me. And that's about it. I'll see you in my next video.